Today, we're extending our lead with A15 Bionic. There's nothing in the world like this chip. Hey guys, this is Arnie from Smartphones Recapped. Let's see how does A15 Bionic stack up against its competitors and is it really that powerful? Apple praised the lot its new A15 Bionic chip at the Apple September event, making some nice comparisons with its competitors. Up to 50% faster than the leading competition. And showing some impressive diagrams and numbers. But what do all those numbers mean and do they really matter? In this diagram we see F15 Bionic which has 6 cores, 2 high performance cores clocked at 3.24 GHz and 4 efficiency cores clocked at 2 GHz. When you need a lot of power, these 2 high performance cores kick in and get the job done. But let's say when you are doing some web browsing or watching videos on YouTube, the other 4 efficiency cores activate and perform the tasks. Each of these high performance aka avalanche cores has 6 megabytes of L2 cache which allows them to run blisteringly fast. Guys, lots of you might ask what is the cache and why is it so important for the CPU? Cache is a super fast memory pool which is placed right next to the CPU. It acts as a middle layer between the CPU and the RAM. Being located very close to the CPU, cache memory gives huge advantages to it. Every time when the processor needs to execute some instructions, it checks the cache for the necessary data and performs the given task super quickly. The more cache you have, the more data you can store in it. So your CPU takes advantage of that large amount of super fast cache and operates even faster. A15 Bionic has 384 kilobytes of L1 cache, 16 megabytes of L2 cache and 32 megabytes of SLC cache. This is a ridiculous amount of super fast cache, it allows your processor to chew through everything blisteringly fast. So F15 Bionic with its crazy powerful avalanche cores, ginormous amounts of L1, L2 and L3 super fast memory pools manages to reach speeds beyond the realm of possibility. Now let's have a look at its two main competitors, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and MediaTek Dimensity 9000, so you can have a better understanding what I am talking about and why A15 Bionic is so powerful. So both of these CPUs have 8 cores, 1 high performance core, 3 middle cores and 4 efficiency cores. Now look at a MediaTek's high performance X2 core, it's clocked at 3.05 GHz and it's got only 1 MB of L2 cache. Guys, do you remember A15 Bionic's Avalanche core has 6 MB of L2 cache and it's clocked at 3.24 GHz, so I think that's a huge difference. And when it comes to L3 cache and SLC cache, numbers are very modest here. It's got like 8 MB of L3 cache and 6 MB of SLC cache. Do you remember guys? A15 Bionic has 32 megabytes of SLC cache, so again, here numbers are not comparable. And when it comes to Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, there is not much to talk about. Look at its high performance core, it's clocked at 3 GHz, and the whole CPU has only 4 megabytes of SLC cache, so it's much inferior to A15 Bionic. This diagram very well illustrates the difference between these three processors in terms of amounts of cache. Now let's move forward and have a look at some Geekbench 5 multi core and single core numbers. Yeah, you can clearly see that A15 Bionic absolutely dominates its competitors when it comes to single core scores. It's got 36 and 40% higher single core score than its competitors MediaTek Dimensity 9000 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 respectively. What this actually means is that A15 Bionic is two generations ahead of its competitors when it comes to single core performance. In the multi-core department, differences are not very huge. A15 Bionic is still led in the pack, but with a smaller margins. Speaking of GPU, here we can clearly see that A15 Bionic outperforms its rivals in the GPU department as well. It hits 54 frames per second in 4040p and 147 frames per second in 1080p, which is quite impressive. Here, MediaTek Dimensity 9000 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 are lagging behind even last year's A14 Bionic. Here, they barely managed to hit 42 and 43 frames per second in 4040p and 100 and 150 frames per second in 1080p respectively. So after all these benchmarks and comparisons, we can clearly see that A15 Bionic in some departments is up to 40% faster than its rivals. And this ranking chart wraps up our today's video with the F15 Bionic occupying number one spot.